Hey guys, this is Rudy of Banks Music. Hope you all are having a great day. Today I just want to do a quick video using a free guitar plugin, actually developed by myself, and I'm still developing, so I want to offer it to you guys for free. But right now I just want to show you one of the patches that I'm running with. And um, everything's been recorded by me, high quality, using Line 6, all the digital, the whole gamut. So basically I'm running it in contact player. I've got some effects. I'm going to give you an example of one of the patches that I have. I'm going to write a little song around it and um, feel free to go to banksmusic.com and um, you can check out everything I have to offer and um, if it impacts you and you want to learn how to do what I'm doing programming software wise, just hit me up in the comments below. Let's go. So first I'm going to show you, I'm just going to grab one of the notes here. All right, so that's the loop, um, and again, it's in different keys. Uh, we got a little bit of reverb, so if I want to add a little bit of reverb to it, a little bit of delay to that sound. And we got some saturation, give you a little bit of delay. And so what I did, I'm just gonna go in here to my doll. I'm using Studio One. Then I just grabbed the loop in Studio One. Um, this is on 115 beats per minute. Um, the song originally in the key of D flat, and um, so I'm gonna add something to it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add in some piano. Let me find something. We'll grab an old school upright piano instead. Turn the reverb back a little bit. All right, let's see what that sounds like. Let's unmute everybody. Here we go. Okay, so we got that recorded in. Now we're going to let's add some bass. It's a muted R and B. Um, Trilogy R&B plugin. I like this muted bass. So, I love that. All right, let's see what I can do with that. We're gonna lay that in. Give us a little bit of vocals. Maybe I don't want to repeat the same one twice. So maybe I want to use that. So I'm going to use that instead. So then when it plays back. I don't like, I don't like that. So I'll go back and fix that. 
Yeah, I like that. So we add a guitar back into it. This is what we have now. Okay, so now I need just a little bit extra. I need some strings or something. I need a little bit of strings, uh, favorites and stuff. That's how you can find your stuff real quick. So I love that. I like when them chords slide in like that. Let me see what this is. That's bass. Let's see. to it later so let me go ahead and lay that in would help to start in the right spot All right, so let's see what that all sounds like. Save, and here we go. I'm not gonna do a whole mix, but I just want you guys just to get a feel for, you know, what I'm working on, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, I'm trying to get back into sharing tutorials and things like that. So if there's something you would like for me to share, you know, as far as mixing tutorials or anything using um, Studio One, you know, musicianship, I'm gonna build this channel. You can also look at my personal channel, Rudy Banks, um, on YouTube as well. I built that channel up a while ago on marketing and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe, stay positive, keep striving, become the best you you can be. You guys have a great day. Peace out.